goodness. Hi. That's Sydney, and um, Sydney has IC, and she's starting her 96-day Happy Healthy and Hot Challenge this week. And part of her challenge, um, in addition to weight loss, just like me, is to eat foods that are only um, IC friendly. So I'm gonna have Sydney explain what that means to you, and then we're gonna go peruse all of the food in the grocery store. So I have IC, as Janelle told you, and what that is is a bladder condition, which pretty much means the protective lining in my bladder has cracked with holes in it. So a good way to think about it is imagine if you had a cut on your arm, anything that would hurt if you rubbed it in that cut on your arm, that's going to hurt when I eat it and it goes into my body. So I try to avoid anything that has any sort of acid or fruit, the three C's, caffeine, chocolate, and carbonation. So we're going to go through the store and see what we can find. And what are the things that 
that are in that that you can't have now? Um, the gorgonzola cheese, the balsamic vinegar, and the cranberry. So I can have the spinach. Oh, yummy. Yeah. So wait, how, are there certain cheeses that are good? Yeah, you, you want to go for a really mild cheese. Uh, mozzarella cheese, sometimes Parmesan cheese, but just a little bit. Cream cheese is usually okay. American cheese, for some reason, doesn't do it, even though it's... But not British cheese. Not British cheese. <laughs> I will get you to the Greek. <laughs> Buttermilk. Buttermilk is no good. It's pretty acidic. How do you, do you learn all of this? A lot of research. She's already done one for you. Check it out. What kind of tea can you have? Um, white? I don't know about white tea. I'm going to have to look into white tea, but... <laughs> herbal tea? Peppermint tea? Oh, sorry. Chamomile tea? Any kind of uh, herbal tea that isn't a fruit flavor. Uh, okay. But I found one. I can't remember the name of it. I'll... I'll find it again. Oh, um, oh, yeah. we were talking about, um, healthy looking products. And this, these ones, I mean, not to like call these people out or anything, but we we'll just, just wanted to show them. you like how I much saw stuff are, is in the ingredients. I saw this and I got really excited because I thought it looked like something I could have. And this whole entire list right here is all ingredients. One of the rules I like to follow is if you can't pronounce it, then it's probably not something that I should be having. And there's a lot of those, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. Mm. I'm surprised they were able to pack that many ingredients into a little container. <laughs> Yeah, honeydew melons and watermelons. Uh -huh. For some reason, cantaloupe 